And that breaking new Jaguars quarterback Trevor Lawrence is expected or is addressing the media regarding his injury. He's at the podium now. We're going to go ahead and just listen in to what he has to say to fans and the media. You want to start now? Yeah, I mean, the team's always the priority, you know. Um, we had obviously the same conversations before the New Orleans game earlier in the season, and um, I'll never put myself or the team in a position to where um, we're at a higher risk or we're not going to play our best because I'm not able to do my job. So, you know, that's those are all questions you have to answer throughout the course of the week. And um, just for me, it's just doing everything I can every second of the day to, to get back as soon as possible, you know, whenever that is. So, um that's yeah. That's the whole thought process behind everything. How do you feel today? I feel I feel a lot better. I feel really you know I feel a lot better than I would have thought I'd feel. Um, you know I'm very fortunate. I'm thankful that it wasn't a worse injury. You know than what, what I kind of thought it was on the field. So I'm I'm thankful for that. You know just some flexibility. You know Will my guy in the in the weight room that that trains me and stuff is. He, Doing a good job. Needs a needs a raise or something. So he's doing, he's doing a good job. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just thankful and I appreciate all the people, the thoughts and prayers. And um, thankfully, it wasn't anything serious. But you know, that stuff means a lot, and it worked. You know, I'm feeling feeling good. So I'm thankful for that. Yeah, I mean, I didn't know obviously what it was, but I was yeah, I was kind of concerned. You know, I kind of felt something down in my leg and I or my ankle and was definitely concerned about that and then obviously trying to get up and had some had some pain there so yeah I was concerned that it was worse and thankful that it, that it wasn't you know made it out cleaner than I probably should have so yeah cart thing yeah yeah you know we <laughs> we have a we have an amazing medical staff um, that takes care of us and in every way that you could imagine, anything that we need, they're always there. They they work pretty much around the clock to to take care of us. So we got one of, if not the best, in the league. So there's no, I mean, I've heard what Amanda was telling me, kind of all the stuff that's been going on. And yeah, I didn't. We talked about getting a cart, and I was going to get a cart, and then I'm standing there, and you know, I'm I'm already on the sideline at that point. The tunnel's right there. I just wanted to get off the field, get out of there. I didn't know what was going on with my ankle, and I felt like I could get off. And I was like, hey, you're good. Just don't bring it out. I'm going in. And then once I got in there, I'm like, this is a pretty long walk, you know. But I, I was already there, and they asked again if I wanted a cart. I'm like, no, we're going to make it the whole way there. I didn't know there was cameras in the tunnel, you know. So that's kind of there everywhere, exactly. So, uh, but no, it's of course we have carts and we have everything we need and I was the one that, that didn't choose to, to take one, you know, so you guys put that on me maybe that was dumb, maybe I should have taken one, whatever. But um, it's nothing to do with us not having a cart available. I don't think that would that would happen in the National Football League, especially here with the with the crew that we have. So yeah. Could you take us through what actually happened on the play? Obviously we watched it but from the guy that went through it just what 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 went down. What do you mean, like with, how, like the guy like stepping on my ankle, or what exactly are you? It looked like you were supposed to get rid of the ball. Oh, okay. You with what actually happened with the play? Yeah, yeah I mean, right. you know. Yeah. No, it's good. Good teamwork. Um, yeah, I mean, we had we yeah we had a, we had a play on, and um, you know it's a tough situation, obviously, with Christian going down first play of the game. There's a lot of there's a lot of intricate things that we do in our offense that center around Christian. He's a really great player, smart player. Um, we, me and him have a lot of time on task and a lot of chemistry. So Parker's thrown in as a rookie into that role, and a guy that's also kind of been injured this year coming back, and now kind of getting him back in the swing of things the last few weeks with Ag going down and then now Christian. So he, he got, I mean, from the second play of the game, he had to play the whole game and, and Christian spot and did a heck of a job, made some great plays. And we just had a miscommunication on that one of kind of what, you know, where where he was going to sit down, where he was going to run his route, all that. Um, and I thought some, he was going to do something different and it was a mis miscommunication. So then I was kind of stuck behind Walker and, you know, was, I, I didn't drop because I was trying to get it out quick um, and just improve our field goal position there. And it's just the game we play, a freak thing. You know, if if I'm six inches to the right or left, it doesn't happen. Or you know, so you can't you can't play that game. It's it's football. Stuff happens. But yeah, it was unfortunate. You know, and that's stuff that we talk through. And um, 
Parker's going to keep getting better every week. He's a he's a really good player. You see him flash in the game. Made some unbelievable plays that we really needed. The touchdown catch, the scramble catch, um, a couple other plays that he made. Um, I mean, he's doing he's doing a great job, and he's going to be a great player. So uh, excited for that opportunity for him, and definitely need him to step up. Obviously, with Christian down for a while, um, Parker's going to have to step up, and he will. And he's prepared, and he's done a great job. How much does Christian Kirk mean to this offense and not having him out there on the field? Just even the leadership that he brings to the group. He means a lot, you know. I, like like you said, it's not just <clears throat> obviously his ability on the field and the plays that he can make. I think just the the voice he is in, in that room um, on the team. You know, he's a, he's a great leader. He does things the right way. Super hard worker. Um, has battled through a lot of stuff to, to play this year as long as he has. You know, of course, this time of year, everybody's dealing with something, but that's a guy that's just, I got a lot of respect for him for what he sacrifices for the team. Um, and, you know, it's, it sucks seeing him go down. You know, you, it's, it's, it's hard to, when a player like that, and that means so much to the team to rally after a guy goes down first play, and especially after a big play like that, you know, it's just, but I thought the guys did a good job of, of staying focused and trying to fill in the gap and, and just take control of the game. I thought we did a good job of that, but um, yeah, he means a lot to this team, and we're going to have to, get, like, guys are going to have to step up, and we're going to have to find ways to, to, um, to, to keep moving forward offensively and to play well. There's no excuse for a guy going down. No one really cares in the NFL. If you get a guy hurt, there's no excuses to not to not perform and to not um, produce. So we understand that, and the guys are going to step up, and we got great players, and that's why you have depth because in this sport, you know, you can't take anything for granted, and you, you, it, you're not, never going to have a guy that for the whole season guaranteed. Anything can happen at any moment, and that's why guys have to be prepared, and um, you see guys having to step up at that will and that, that have in the past. Trevor, what do you need to see going into New Orleans to be able to play, to feel comfortable to play, and, and kind of like when did you know and how will that play out this week for what you need to feel to be comfortable? Yeah, I mean it's still it's still early in the week. Um, obviously, New Orleans I didn't know until right before the game, but and that was a, this is a short week, but that was a really short week. So we'll have a couple more days than we did then, which is which is nice, but still lost a day playing on Monday night. So I guess that's just the way it's been going this year with some of that stuff. But um, you know, I'm I'm t really just taking it one day at a time. I'm trying to do do as much as I can each day without you know aggravating it or, or making anything worse, but trying to progress towards. You know, hopefully playing like that's the that's the goal every week and and every day is to try to get as healthy as possible. And in the past what 48 hours have been some big steps, and I'm I'm really happy with with how it's it's healing up. So we'll see. You know, I obviously can't give any answers right now, and I'm um, just gonna take my time and, and do everything right and with with the medical people downstairs and the trainers and in the weight room. Um, so just you know, check every box that I can to try to be able to play on Sunday. Will this be totally decision based on just what the doctors say? If they say, hey, you, 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 you'd be good to go without risking further damage. Or if they say, probably better if you hold off another way, will you just sort of just follow what, what their recommendation is? I mean, yeah, I'm always going to consult with, with, with those guys. Like, that's, that's obviously, they know a lot more about injuries and, and stuff with the body than I do. But. It's always a collaborative process, you know. You don't want to take any further risks, especially where we're at in the season. You want to be, you want to be able to play, you know, through the rest of the year and, and, and into the playoffs. So that's something on your mind as well. But you know, if I can be out there and I can be, you know, myself, to, you know, for the most part, then I'm going to be out there. So and I don't have the answer right now, but that's that's just how I think and how I view things. So. Um, of course, I'm going to talk with them, and we're going to make the best decision for the team, for one, and then also for myself in the long haul. Like I want to be able to, you know, to bounce back from this and be 100% as the season goes on. So, um, those are all things you got to you got to answer. What makes CJ so valuable? Yeah, he's you know just that's a hard job. It's uh, it's a job where you don't get a ton of reps, especially with the guys you're throwing to when you do have to play like with the starters like during the week like I'm getting the reps because obviously I'm playing and then a guy has to come in one has to know the system inside and out has to prepare like a starter which he does um, and then you got to be able to go in and make plays and, and crunch I mean he had to come in I don't know how much time was left I think it was a what five minutes when he came into the game and it's a tie game and has to go you know or it was we were down by I guess three on the last drive and has to go make plays and run the offense and 
you know, it's never a one-man show, even no matter who's in the game. Like, we got great players around us, but the quarterback position is important. And for him to be able to put together a drive to get us in field goal range, kick the game tie in field goal and send it to overtime, that's huge. And to have that faith and confidence in, in your second guy that he can go do that no matter the situation. So we have a ton of confidence in him. He's he's prepared for it. He's played a lot of football, too. He's been a starter in this league. Um, you know, so I, there's no concern there. And, and we have a ton of confidence and not only the staff, Staff and myself, but also our guys up front, our skill guys. Everyone has a lot of confidence in CJ, so you know, he's he's the perfect guy for the job, and he's gonna he's gonna do great if if he does need to play. So we'll, we'll just go from there. I think you said actually right on the heels, game back with five to play. Does this team still need that? I mean, making the transition from Hunter to the Hunted this year. Do you think this team will respond with that sort of pressure from behind? This we can't worry about what's behind us. You know, it doesn't matter what's what's behind us. We got to just focus on the team we're playing this week. And you know, same thing goes back to last week. It's you got to take care. It's one week at a time, and you got to take care of business. You got to play your best each week and just find a way to win. And we weren't able to last week. And so, yeah, I mean, that obviously makes things closer in our division, but. I think we got to focus more on what's in front of us and, and who we're playing this week and just find a way to win this week. And the next week will come, we'll address that and we'll find a way to win that game. But we can't worry about Houston or Indy or whoever's behind us. We If we take care of business, we're going to be fine. So um, it's a little bit of that. You have to have that, I don't want to say arrogance, but that confidence of it doesn't matter what these other teams do. We're good enough to beat anybody on any day, and we have to do that. And we didn't do that last week, and we get another opportunity opportunity to this week we still control our own destiny but we can't worry about teams from behind us because that's what that, that that adds pressure adds anxiety and you just worry about playing one week at a time it doesn't matter we've already played Houston twice we've already played Indy twice we got Tennessee later in the year and uh, we're not gonna get another opportunity to play those guys so we can't focus on what they're doing or how close they are to us we got to take care of business on the field each week and that's our responsibility right, we got time for one speaking of anxiety do you walk around worried that you're gonna step off the curb or step off the thing and make it worse. You're saying <laughs> your job is to not make it any worse, right? As it can keep getting to get better. You're not in the boot anymore. You don't see crutches. So, like, how do you go about your day not just worried about? <laughs> just. Uh, <laughs> I can't have a good answer for it. I mean, just walk normally and uh, slowly, carefully. Try to keep people away from the leg. All right, so that was Trevor Lawrence in his first press conference since his high ankle sprain at his Monday night football game. He said he's feeling a whole lot better. He's not sure what's going to happen this weekend, but of course you can count on Action News Jax to bring you the very latest on Trevor and his recovery, as well as what is next for the Jags ahead of Sunday's game. You can get instant information on ActionNewsJax.com, and we will have a live report starting on Action News Jax at 4. This has been a CBS 47 Fox 30 Action News Jax breaking news update. For continuing coverage of this story, download the Action News Jax News app.